and it's back to the bargaining table tomorrow to try and resolve the lingering strike at MGM Grand Detroit Casino. Union members there decided to hold out for a better deal while workers at Detroit's two other casinos ratified an agreement and went back to work about 10 days ago. Tonight, reporter Ruta Olsenida joins us with the expectations from the MGM picket line. It has been exactly six weeks since these workers at MGM Grand Detroit have walked off the job, striking for better pay and better benefits. But things are a little bit different now. Not only are they the only casino in Detroit that remains on strike, but these temps, they are not helping. Yeah, I'm cold. <laughs> it's getting cold. I've been, I bought new gloves, I got new boots. It has now been over 40 days of striking for these MGM workers who remain on the picket line tonight, but they are not giving up. MGM is cheap. Daniel Herrick has been a slot tech at MGM for 24 years. 40 days of striking to him is nothing. We're still looking for that, that wage increase. Don't touch our benefits. Uh, Make sure our 401k stays there and doesn't go away. But with temps starting to dip into the low 20s at night and the $500 per week strike pay wearing thin, it's a tough task. And these striking workers hope that a deal can be reached soon. The financial burden that it's put on all the families, I mean, it's been great with all the care package that people have given us and everything, but it still doesn't pay the bills. Union leaders say they are returning to the bargaining table with MGM Wednesday and Thursday, and federal mediators will be involved this time as well. Meanwhile, strikers say they're not going anywhere. One day stronger, one day longer. And hope the community has their back. Really, if you want to support us, you like these people right here crossing the picket line. Um, the company is watching, and as they see you cross the picket line, they feel we have no value. And we'll be sure to keep you updated on those talks that are set to happen tomorrow and Thursday. For now in Detroit, I'm Rudolph Sinaida, 7 Action News.